right, after another uh, long winter, first warm weekend, uh, we're gonna get out and catch some fish. As we hit the road again to chase fish in the arid desert, Elise just insisted on us listening to a podcast that was based on a murder mystery that happened in this area. Shortly after turning off the pavement, we saw an abandoned mining cabin off in the distance. And when we're looking at new area, that's something we always like to stop. Check out. Josie Pearl's house. We've been listening to this podcast about this guy that murdered these people. Um, but this guy found this guy, found about out about this guy. Okay, that was about to get really confusing if it wasn't already. Josie Pearl was a gold prospector from the late 1800s and early 1900s, originally from Arkansas and then moved to Colorado, where she had served Jesse James, her famous biscuits, in a boarding house that she operated. She was later, and better known as, the Queen of the Black Rock Desert. There's a story that three men were stealing gold-filled ore. From this exact location, Josie caught them red-handed, held them at gunpoint, tied them up, and hauled them to Winnemucca to the nearest jail. It's even said that there's still hidden treasure in this area, left behind by Josie. And that is what those treasure hunters were looking for when they were murdered by a man named Bristol Wolf in the 60s. And that's what the podcast was about that we were listening to. As interesting as the stop was, we had fish on the brain and had to keep moving. is our destination so we camped here last year and didn't catch a fish because uh when we got here it was later in the year and uh the algae bloom was so bad that we weren't able to catch any fish so we came back earlier and uh hope to catch some there's supposedly there's some decent fish in here so hopefully Threw on a hoodie, sun's getting ready to go down. Oh, we're gonna cruise across the lake and uh, go see if we can't get a fish in the net tonight before we cook dinner, so. Cheers, it's summertime.
Just went fishing really quick before dinner. I landed two. I'm up two on Rowan for the season already. Wish him luck for tomorrow. After getting out fish by my wife in normal fashion, we watched the lake nearly come to a boil from fish eating off the surface. We ate some dinner and slipped off the bed. <laughs> Good morning, Elise. Good morning. Bob. Track him. Hey, we just got some breakfast sandwiches warmed up. Throw on a backpack and go for a hike. See if we can't catch a few more of them fish that Elise caught last night. Those were nice fish. Just, uh, we're gonna switch spots. We just caught three fish there. At least caught two. I caught one. Uh, I caught a, that tiger was just beautiful. Looking forward to uh, catching a few more. We're headed to another spot right now where a creek comes in. This time of year in the spring, these fish kind of congregate in those areas because they're getting ready to spawn. So let's we'll see if we can catch a few fish over here by this creek. After coming back to camp, we uh, just put on some different clothes to uh, bear the heat here. It's supposed to be a pretty nice day, so 
we're gonna take off walking and go the opposite direction of of where we were just at so see if there's fish over here too Okay, we've been sitting at the first spot for a minute in this deeper water. No action, pretty slow. Oh, just got back to camp. We sat down and ate some lunch. And old Annie Oakley herself stopped by to sharpen up her shooting skills. Back to a bobber, we got a little um, little breeze going on here. Hopefully make the bobber dance. Hook. Tell me what just happened, Alice. I lost my fish. back to camp we're gonna start cooking up dinner mm, we're doing chucker pot pie in the Dutch oven tonight so it should be pretty good stay tuned Just had some of the best chucker pot pie a man's ever had. We're gonna go scoot across the other side of the lake here and uh, go back to where we fished last night. Let's see if we can't get a few more fish in the net. We just sat down for the evening bite. We've had a couple bites, but nothing serious yet.
We've both gotten probably 10 bites a piece. And <laughs> we can't hook them. This is the craziest thing I've ever been through. I haven't missed this many fish. Maybe my life. I think he's being a little bit. It is like, it's like almost dark right now. We've tried our hardest. Uh, but we, I don't think we're gonna get another fish in the net tonight, so. It's always nice to come back to a spot where you've been skunked and pull it off and catch some fish. Maybe you were there at the wrong time. Maybe you were just doing it all wrong. But either way, after getting fish in the net, you feel that little bit of success. Thanks again for watching Tracking Outdoors. Make sure you subscribe and catch next week's episode too.